A very good morning to all of you, my dear kids. I hope you all are fine at home. Today we will move on to the new topic that is even and odd numbers. In your last classes, maybe you have studied that what is even and what is odd numbers. Today we will recall the numbers which have exact pairs. The numbers which have exact pairs that is called as even numbers. The numbers which does not have pairs that is called as odd numbers. For example, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. These are even numbers. These numbers have exact pairs. Okay. Odd number. 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13 and so on. These numbers are called odd numbers because they don't have exact pairs. Now, there are few rules that, are, that to be followed. Okay. Sum of two odd numbers are always even. If we add two odd numbers, the sum is always even. This is the example. 13 is an odd number and 27 is also odd number. What we have to do? We have to look at the ones place. Whether it is a odd or even. Then we will find which is odd, which is even. Here both the numbers are odd but the sum is even. Sum of two odd numbers are always even. Next, sum of two even numbers are always even. Even the two even numbers. If we add the two even numbers, we will get the sum even only. Next property. The next property is the sum of one odd and one even number is always odd. If we add one even number and one odd number, that is always odd. Okay. Do you remember the two, the sum of two odd numbers is always even. The sum of two even number is always even. The sum of one odd and one even number is always odd number. Now let us take an activity to know more. Okay. Activity 6, write even or odd. Okay. Here he is given a few numbers. We have to write whether this number are even or odd. Okay. 2. No, the numbers are even or odd. Look at the ones place. If the ones place is with even, then the number is even. 64, it is even. Because 4 is the even number. It has an exact pace. Next, 153. Here, 3. It is odd. So, odd. Next, 600. 600 is also even. Because we can make a pace. Exact pairs in 600. Next, 2078. Look at the ones place. Here 8 is a even number. So, it is a even. Okay, children. Have you understood? Here, there are few examples I have did. Rest more sums are there. You do it on your own. own. Next, move on to the second name. Next, 2nd main, write whether sum is odd or even without adding. Here they are few sums have given. We have to decide which is odd or which is even without adding. Let us see. Let us see the ones place. Here in the ones place there is a odd number. Here it is an even number. The sum of one odd and one even number is always odd. Okay, so it is a odd. Next 142, 364. Here in one's place both the numbers are even. So it is even number. The sum of two even number is always even. Next, 83 plus 14. Again, here the number digit in a one place is even, odd and here it is a even number. So 
the sum of one odd and one even number is always odd. Okay. Here. Example 4. 15 plus 30. Here. In a one's place, there are two odd numbers. The sum of two odd numbers is always even. So, it is even. Okay, children. I have solved some sums here. And you have to solve it on your own in both textbook and homework book. Skip counting by tens, hundreds and thousands. We have to skip the numbers used by tens, hundreds and thousands. First let us see skip count by tens. When counting, skipping by tens, what we have to see? We have to keep the ones place same always. <laughs> Only we have to look at the tens place and hundreds place. Let us take the example. Here is 4580. 4, we have skipped 10 times. It has become 4590. Again we have skipped 10 times. 4600. Then again 4610. This is how we skip by tens. Why skipping by tens? Keep the ones place same. Only the tens and hundreds place will change. Like this. I will show you another one. 2010. Okay. I will skip by tens. 2020. 2030. 2040. Here, the ones place is same. Only the tens place gone changing. Okay. Let us move to the skip count by hundreds. Mm. Okay. Skip count by hundreds. Last we counted skipping by tens. Now we will skip count by hundreds. While counting, skipping by hundred, what we have to see? We have to Keep the ones place and tens place same. Only we have to change the hundreds and thousands place. So here 5300. I have skipped by hundreds. It has become 5400. Look at here. Ones place and tens place are same. But only changing hundreds place and thousands place. Next 5500. Again I have skipped 100 times 5000. 600. Next example. 4320. So I will skip by hundreds. 4420. Look at here. There is ones place and tens places. Same. Only is changing is hundreds place. Okay. Next. 4520. 4620. Like this, we skip by hundreds. While skipping, keep ones place and tens place same. Only changes is hundred and thousands place. Now let's move to skipping by thousands. Why? Now we will move to the skipping by thousands. Now we will skip the numbers by thousands and complete this sum. While skipping by thousands, we have to see that we, we have to keep ones. Tens and hundreds place same. Only thousand place will get changes. Okay. Let us see. 6,775. I have skipped by thousand. Here the thousand place got changed by seven. Because after six, seven will come. Again I have jumped by thousands. Here eight has become. Now here I have jumped. It has become nine. You have looking that only the thousand place is changing. Tens, ones and hundred places, same. Let us see another one. 4490. I have skipped by thousand. 5490. Again, 6490. 7490. Like this, we have skipped the thousands and we have completed this sum. While skipping by thousand, we have to keep in mind that only the thousand place will get changed. Remaining hundreds, tens and ones place have same. Okay. Next we will move yeah. to the new lesson. 
This number three, Roman numerals. What are Roman numerals? <laughs> Romans have invited the numbers that are called as Roman numerals. They are different from our Hindu Arabic numbers and they are not simple as the Hindu Arabic number but we still use those numbers in counting. Here the Romans have invited some seven alphabets to write the numbers. These are the seven alphabets that is for one I, 5, V, 10, X, for 50 that is L, for 100 that is C, for 500 that is D, for 1000 that is M. These are the seven alphabets Roman used to counting. Okay. Now let us work on the numbers 1 to 39 today and we will see the sum rules. But one more thing. There is no symbol for zero in Roman numerals. There is no num symbol for zero in Roman numerals. Now let us see the few rules to work on Roman numerals. Symbols I and X can be repeated three times to form a number. To form a number in Roman number system, we can use symbol I and X three times repeatedly. Okay. Like this, i is equal to 1. This is nothing but 1. x is, is equal to 10. If you return a x, that is called as 10. So, 2i. 1 plus 1, that is equal to 2. 3i. 1 plus i. 3i is equal to 1 plus 1 plus 1, that is equal to 3. This symbol i can be repeated 3 times. Next, x. x is equal to 10. 2x is equal to 10 plus 10, that is equal to 20. 3x is equal to 10 plus 10 plus 10 that is equal to 30. Like this we can repeat these number thrice. Okay. The second rule. There is no concept of place value system in Roman number system. We have learnt a place value system in Hindu Arabic and international number system. Here there is no concept of place value. Symbols V, L and D cannot be repeated more than once. Okay. We repeat I and x thrice but the symbol v l and d cannot be repeated more than once and there is no symbol for zero as i told you there is no symbol for zero in roman number numeral the fifth one is okay the rule fifth is symbols i v and x are used to form a number smaller symbol or the used to form a number smaller symbol before greatest symbol means subtract smaller from the greater. Okay. While we write a smaller symbol before greater. Here it is V means 5. Here I means 1. If we write smaller symbol before a greater symbol that is known as to subtract smaller from greater. Here V is nothing but 5. And I is nothing but 1. If we subtract 1 from 5, we will get the number 4. It is in Roman numeral 4 is written as like this. Okay. Again, second one. Here, X is 10. 1 is, I is 1. So, if we have written a smaller symbol before a greater number. That is nothing but 10 minus 1. That is equal to 9. Okay. If we subtract 10 1 from 10 the answer is 9 okay you understood smaller symbol before greater number is no means subtract a smaller symbol from greater number next the smaller symbol after greater symbol means add smaller to greater like we have subtracted a Smaller symbol with a greater. Now we will add the bigger symbol with a smaller symbol to get the greater number. For example, if we add, if there is a smaller symbol after a bigger symbol. Here it is 5 and after 5 there is a i. i is nothing but 1. The smaller symbol after a greater number is means add 
greater to smaller that is 5 plus 1 that is equal to 6 here x is nothing but 10 after 10 there is 1 so we have to add 1 here that becomes 11 in last rule what we did we subtracted the smaller symbol with the greater number why because it was before the greater symbol but here the smaller symbol is after the greater symbol so we have to add smaller symbol after greater symbol means add smaller symbol to the greater symbol these are the few rules to perform the roman numerals numerals to write the roman numerals now let us see few examples here activity 1 there has a table given for you we have to write the roman numerals for hindu arabic number here numbers have given and we have to write the roman numerals few are there and i have solved here for 1 that is i for 2 that is 2i for 3 3i for 4 i 3 for 5 that is b for 6 5 plus 1 that is b plus i next for 11 10 plus 1 i for 12 for 21, for 22, these are the few examples that has given. Okay, 33, how 33 has written? 10 plus 10 plus 10, that is 1, 2, 3, 33. Like this we have to write the Roman numbers. Let us move to the next main. Now, write Hindu Arabic numbers. Okay, here the Roman numerals have given. We have to write the Hindu Arabic numbers. How to write? Let us see. X is nothing but 10. Another X is there. Another 10. Here, what we have to do? That is, here the smaller number is before greater number. So, we subtracted v from i, v is nothing but 5, 5 minus 1 that is equal to 4, okay, plus 4, that is how much, 10 plus 10, 20, 20 plus 4, 24, 24 is written as xxiv in Roman numerals, next one, that is 1x, 10, another one, again 10, plus v is nothing but 5, so, 10 plus 10, 20, 20 plus 5, 25. 25 is written like this, x, x, v. Next one, that is x. x is nothing but 10 plus i is nothing but 1, another i plus 1. That is equal to 10 plus 1, 11, 11 plus 1, 12. I think you all have understood how to write the Roman numerals. New, uh, Roman numerals. I will send you the SLA of these numbers and you try to solve in both textbook and HLA book. If you have any doubt, you can call me. Okay. I think you have understood all the today's concept. Stay home. Stay safe. Don't go outside to play. Thank you.